With the time analysis tool, it's very easy to fine tune your drag using a past race or a recent training ride. Keep in mind that you'll want to use a race or ride in which you are on the same setup as will be used in your future race. And you'll need to know what your average power was and the total bike split time was for that past race or ride. For this demo, let's assume that I raced Ironman Coeur d'Alene last year and that I know what my average power and bike split was. We'll calibrate my drag with this past race. I've already uploaded the race course and set up my bike. Now let's create a race plan. Make sure you pull in accurate weather data from the race day and you use the normalized power model when creating or updating your race plan. Now we have a race plan using my Ironman Coeur lane race. Note that with my current settings, the normalized power model predicts that I should ride the course in a time of 533 at an average power of 215 watts. Okay, now click on the time analysis tab and slide the power adjustment to the left or right in order to match your actual average power from your past race. In my case, that would be 209 watts. Now adjust the drag slider to the left or right until the adjusted time matches your actual bike split time. I'm looking for a 545 adjusted time. We now have our adjusted zero degree yaw CDA or drag numbers. Make a note of these two values as we are going to next update our bike profile with them. Click over to your bikes and select the bike used in your race plan. Scroll down and click update this bike. At the bottom of your bike profile, we are now going to update both the racing and climbing zero degree yaw angle CDA numbers with the adjusted CDA numbers we got from the time analysis tool. Note that the CDA values for all other yaw angles are automatically calculated. After updating your bike, we can verify these new drag numbers by going back to your race plan and rerunning the model. Select the race plan, click Update this race, then scroll down and click Update race plan. On your updated race detail page, note the new predicted bike split time. If your predicted time does not match your actual time, it is probably due to your average power being slightly off. Click the time analysis tool and simply adjust your average power to that of your actual average power. If the adjusted time matches your bike split time, your drag numbers are now calibrated and you can use this bike profile to create future race plans more accurately.